Hello fellow developers! In this tutorial I'll explain how to implement Dunpix Ultimate Shooting System and Dunpix Ultimate Customization System. We're going to create a new project. This project will be the one into which you'll migrate both plugins. You can also use one of both plugins as your main project and build over it. For now, I'll choose to create a third person shoot template. Once we've opened the new project we will migrate both plugins. I'll start with the customization system. Let's open its project, then select all the maps inside, right click and migrate. All assets are already selected. Now select the content folder of your project directory. We will do the same for the ultimate shooting system. We will close the customization system project and open the shooting system. Select the play area map which is our only shooting system map and migrate it to your content folder in your project. Once you are finished, close the shooting system project and let's head to your project. Now we have in this new project the two systems. Now I'll explain how to integrate both systems so they can work together. In the content browser search for the player character asset, then open it. Then we go to the construction script and select the boolean DUWCS is attached to turn it to true. Now from the components right click on character components and select edit blueprint character components. Now I want you to make a find in all blueprints. Search for replace DPD. Then you will find them from 1 to 7. We need to select them from 1 to 7. In the first one, we select the comment, then select the text. Then we copy it in an empty area in the blueprint. Now we delete the old comment and replace it with our new one. Make sure that our nodes are connected. Also we found an error here. Let's fix this one. Here we need it to be the same structure on the outputs. Now we are finished with the first one, let's go to the number 2 and do the same. Copy the text inside the comment and paste it in an empty area, then delete the old comment. Then we go to number 3 and do the same thing. Copy the text from the comment and paste it in an empty area. Make sure that all our nodes are connected. Also, if there is a variable that is undefined, right click on it and create a variable. Now let's go to number 4, do the same thing, copy the text from the comment and paste it outside. Keep it, I do nothing, as it is. Then confirm, also delete the old comment and set our new comment in its place. We have an error here. Uh, just right click and click refresh, we are now in number 4. Let's move to number 5. Copy the text and paste it outside, then delete the old one, just move this comment and connect the nodes. We are at number 5, just two more to go. Let's click on number 6, copy the text and paste outside the old one and connect our nodes. The final one, number 7. Copy the comment text and paste it outside. Let's connect this directly. So now we are finished. Let's check after implementing the two plugins. Let's open them using the ultimate customization system main menu map. Now we have an error here. Let's check our error. It seems that I forgot to put the DUWCS HUD widget in the create widget node. Let's set this and press play again. We need to customize two weapons for testing inside the map. But first, we will open developer tools to unlock all parts. For fast weapon customization, I'll randomize the first weapon, then let's save. Go to the other weapon. I'll randomize it too until we get a rocket, because I would love to test it. Then now save and go back. But before we enter, I think we have to take two more steps. Let's move to our weapon customization system folder, then blueprints, then UI and select 6 customized weapon slot. And select on enter this level. Then press on the is the DUSS is attached boolean to set it to true because we have attached both plugins. The second thing we need to set is to open the player character blueprint and select the weapon actor from the components, then select the full weapon actor as the child actor. Now we can enter for testing. We've successfully implemented both randomized weapons into the shooting system map and I am pleased to report that the shooting functionality for each weapon is working perfectly. Damage to characters is clearly displayed on the screen, alongside a floating health bar. Interestingly, one of our randomized weapons features a Tesla element, which is why the enemy character experiences a burst of electric shocks. This weapon uses projectiles, while the other, a rocket weapon, operates on a hit scan basis, creating instant explosions without the need for bullet travel. We also conducted a quick test to switch between first person and third person views by pressing the C key and it's working seamlessly. The implementation has turned out as well as we hoped, 
especially considering this is the first version of our shooting system. These two plugins offer the potential to create thousands of weapon designs and shooting systems. I've gone on a lengthy journey to fix glitches that could arise from the mass of possibilities. However, if you encounter any glitches or bugs while developing with our system, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on our Discord. We are here to help discuss and resolve any issues you have. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like and a comment. See you later.